Imagine if you could stop cancer from spreading by converting cancerous cells into something harmless like fat. In a recent breakthrough, scientists in Switzerland have done just that. They have not only stopped cancer cells from spreading, but also transformed them into harmless fat cells. So how does this work? When cancer cells break away from the main tumor to enter the bloodstream and form new tumors in other parts of the body, the process is called metastasis. During this process, the cells temporarily enter an immature state, similar to stem cells. This state is known as an epithelial to mesenchymal transition, or EMT, wherein the cells are in a highly plastic or adaptable state. EMT is essential for embryonic development, during which stem cells differentiate into various types of cells throughout the body, and for tissue regeneration during the healing of a wound. Taking advantage of the plasticity of some cancer cells during metastasis, the researchers were able to drive breast cancer cells in mice into becoming fat cells. First, researchers transplanted human breast cancer cells into female mice. They then treated the mice with two FDA-approved drugs. The first was rosaglitazone, which is used in people to treat type 2 diabetes. This drug is known to induce the conversion of stem cells into fat cells. The second drug is known as trametinib, an anti-cancer drug that inhibits the growth and spread of cancer cells. The researchers in the new study found that when mice received this cocktail of the two drugs, the cancer cells that had broken free from the initial tumor changed into fat cells. The drugs also suppressed the growth of the tumor and prevented further metastasis. Now, you may be asking, why would we want to convert cancer cells into fat cells? There are a few reasons for doing this. First, once a fat cell has formed, it does not divide anymore and does not produce more cells. Another advantage is that fat cells are also highly differentiated, so they are kind of in the end stage of the function and they are not returning back to the original cell type. This means they would not go back to become an aggressive cancer cell ever again. In the current study, not all cancer cells successfully returned into fat, but the ones that did remained as fat cells. Of course, right now, we only know this treatment works in mice. Whether or not it is effective in humans is still unknown. A great deal of experimental work is needed before this research translates into human treatments. But the discovery is incredibly promising. It reveals that the plasticity of cancer cells can be effectively exploited to make the cancer more susceptible to conventional therapies. According to researchers, the ultimate goal is not to generate a treatment that magically turns cancer cells into harmless fat cells, but harness this process to stop malignant tumors from spreading and amplify the effects of current chemotherapy treatments. Despite this being a study that was done on mice, there is a very good reason to be optimistic, because these two drugs are already FDA approved for human use. So, it's possible we could see this type of treatment in clinical trials for humans sooner rather than later.